हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट लॉज ऑफ मोशन एंड आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वेरी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्क्राइब दिस थ्री सब टॉपिक्स ओके व्हाट आर दिस फर्स्ट एरिस्टोटल लॉ एंड फॉलेंसी सेकंड गैलिलियोस लॉ एंड इनर्सिया एंड द थर्ड सिस्टम एंड एक्सटर्नल फोर्स आई विल डिस्क्राइब दिस थ्री इन दिस लेक्चर ओके सो लेट्स गो फर्स्ट इज अरिस्टोटल लॉ एंड फॉलेंसी वॉट वॉज अरिस्टोटल लॉ अरिस्टोटल एक्चुअली वॉज अ ग्रीक फिलोसोफर ओके ही हैड गिवन अ लॉ दैट ही टोल्ड दैट एन एक्सटर्नल फोर्स इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कीप अ मूविंग बॉडी इन मोशन वॉट इट मीन्स सपोज अ बॉडी इज मूविंग विद वेलोसिटी भी there is no air resistance there is no friction it is a smooth surface okay now he had told that an external force is required to keep a body moving body in motion that means to keep this body with uniform velocity v we have to apply an external force okay he had told this now actually this was absolutely wrong how i am telling you uh, just listen carefully and try to understand okay suppose this is a row and bow what this is row and bow this is arrow okay uh, suppose uh, this arrow has been left from the bow and the instantaneous position of this bow is here it is moving with velocity v now according to uh, his concept an external force is required to keep a moving body in motion that means regular external force will be required to keep this bow in the motion suppose there is no air resistance there is no any friction no external force is there okay then this bow should uh, fall in the ground as soon as this bow has left from as uh, this arrow has left from this bow okay but actually it doesn't happen in real life it goes some uh, distance after that it fo falls due to air resistance and gravity okay but this means uh, i am trying to say that an external force is not required to keep a moving body in motion if there is no resistance and no friction no any other external force which oppose the motion okay that means suppose uh, a body is there and this is a smooth surface and there is no air resistance suppose a body is moving in with velocity v then if they uh, it is a smooth if no air resistance then this body uh, regularly and continuously will move with the same velocity v unless and until an external opposite force will not uh, required will not occur okay this uh, block will uh, regularly moving with uh, velocity v if there is no any external force that means uh, the law given by the aristotle was wrong it was corrected by whom galileo what galileo had told see galileo actually given the law of inertia okay and galileo also told that an external force is not required to keep a moving body in motion suppose uh, i have already explained you now again i am telling the same thing suppose in other example i am telling suppose this is pendulum this is instantaneous position at the extreme position of this bob and this is also the extreme position of this bob suppose making something angle theta uh, doesn't matter suppose this is hang with ceiling or something so else support okay now see if there is no air resistance okay then this uh, bob will continuously move along the uh, extreme their extreme both extreme position okay if there is no external force that means there is no resistance it will continuously move and move and move okay this is the law of uh, what inertia suppose this is an this type of plane this is a smooth no air resistance also there suppose a ball is uh, a leaf from this uh, place has been leaf from this place now it will continuously move with the same 
speed what will be the overall uh, final velocity will be here it will move with the same velocity it will not uh, stop if there is no friction and uh, there is no air resistance no any external force which will oppose the, oppose the motion got it so this was all about the law of inertia now what is inertia it is a property of body inertia is the property of mass of the body inertia is the property of the body both are correct inertia means what what is inertia i don't know i i actually i am anything don't know in physics what is inertia inertia means resistance to change this is the meaning of inertia resistance to change suppose a body is moving with uh, suppose v velocity something uh, in a smooth surface this is a smooth surface okay now body is moving okay it will doesn't change the state of motion unless it has been acted by an external force suppose there is no external force then it will continue move and move if any external force is there suppose something f then the, uh, its velocity will goes down automatically it will stop suppose there is friction now the block uh, i have applied some force few force after that it had moved to some uh, distance after that it uh, stops why there is external force which external force this uh, friction force which oppose the motion got it so inertia statement was that a body does not change the state of rest or uniform motion unless an external force compels it to change that state that means if a body is in rest it will uh, definitely and in every time it will will be at rest unless any force acts on it if any force uh, start acting on it it will move then uh, it will uh, start uh, change the state of motion that is from rest to motion got it now third one is system and external force what we called as system what we call as external force see uh, system can be everything like suppose a particle is there this is system suppose this is block is there one block this is system uh, suppose this is two block connected with a string or something else this is system okay now suppose uh, a train engine is there and it pulls a few uh, what we call boxes or what you can say whatever this is our system system is what where uh, there is if net external force then it will from the all the components of that system what it means listen carefully I am describing it suppose uh, this is a block and it is connected with a, a string uh, with another block a and B now some external force I am applying that is F okay now the net motion net velocity net acceleration will be determined by the overall forces acted on the system got it suppose uh, there will be some friction also in both blocks which uh, will oppose that means your over will be what f minus f plus f f plus f therefore f minus 2f it will be the overall force which will act on this system okay that means all parts of the system should have same acceleration suppose uh, this is a block uh, think practically suppose this is a rubber okay this is rubber not a string this is rubber and this is a block suppose if we applying force F then uh, just think the rubber will sketch okay the rubber will sketch now uh, there will be acceleration something a and here will be something a dash what I am trying to say listen carefully suppose this is force F acting on the system after that uh, as it will act some force first in the rubber it will scratch that means it will be in motion but automatically at that instant this block will be at rest after some time when the scratch 
द वाट एवर द इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ द रबर इज आफ्टर दैट दिस विल स्टार्ट मूव सो देर विल बी डिफरेंट एक्सरेशन ओके सो प्लीज मैंसन केयरफुली दिज ऑल फैक्ट्स ओके दिज फैक्ट्स विल नॉट यू विल गेट इन एनी बुक सो आई एम टेलिंग यू ओके सो वाट इज द सिस्टम एवरीथिंग अ पार्टिकल फ्रॉम अ ब्लॉक फ्रॉम अ वेरी बिग सपोज इंजन रेलवे वॉट एवर दिज आर सिस्टम ओके नाउ वॉट इज फोर्स एनी एक्सटर्नल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द सिस्टम इज नॉन एज एक्सटर्नल फोर्स सपोज आई एम ट्राइंग आई एम वॉट गिविंग फोर्स एफ टू दिस सिस्टम देन दिस इज एक्सटर्नल फोर्स एंड दिस ओवरऑल इज वॉट सिस्टम सिंपल so this is a system and external force i have told you okay so if you found any uh, problem or doubt then you can ask in my telegram channel physics dot physics dot you can search it and join it okay and i will send the question related to this sub topics in this channel as pdf format you can download and access okay and i am telling you one more thing please listen carefully see if uh, i know you all know about these all these are very basic too much basic what is system what is external force but yes i know but i am starting from basic very basic very too basic so that no one can uh, feel any problem okay so if you like this video please share and uh, subscribe my ch youtube channel if you like then only okay there is no need and i will not tell you to subscribe but if you found that my lecture is going uh, better for you then you can subscribe so thank you and always keep smiling